Hello everybody! In this video I will show you how to find out the desired location in Subnautica using coordinates. This method works on any device, not only on PC. How you already might know, on PC there is a debug option that you can still use by pressing F1, where you can see your location in the camera world position. But maybe one day the developers will remove the access of the future also on PC for the same reason why they did it on consoles. To be precise, because using it is like cheating. Anyway, there is another method to find out the coordinates that can be used thanks to the in-game tools available. So, let's speak about these special tools, how to find them and use them in order to find out your coordinates. Back to the topic, the tools I mentioned before are the compass that show you in which direction you are going and the beacon that allows you to mark the specific position. Once done, you can use the triangulation method to go to the specific location from your beacon. To explain better this method is easier to make an example. Let's suppose that you was able to find the zero point that is the center of the map. Slightly later in the video I will show you how to find this special location. Anyway, back to the example, if you know the coordinates was 90, minus 40, 120, that is the location of our wreck. From the magic location is enough for you to go 90 meters to the east that will increase the first volume. By looking back to your beacon you will be able to see how far you go away. So, if you get too far, center your pointer to the beacon location and get back to meet the first requirement. From here you need to go 120 meters to the north that will increase the third volume as well. In this case it's slightly harder to use your beacon distance easily like before. But there is a formula that you can use to calculate the right distance. This formula is the Pythagorean theorem that consists in multiplying by itself the first and the last coordinate then you have to add one to another. Now is enough to do the square root of the result, that is the exact distance your beacon must be if you get to the right location. If you need, you can use a Google Scientific Calculator to make this calculation easy and fast. Otherwise, when you get the first value, go enough deep to recognize the location you're searching for. Use the second value, that is how deep is located the wreck in this case. Then swim straight to the north, this way you will be sure to see it. So this way you didn't need to do any calculations. To finish, if the first coordinate is a positive number you have to go east, while if is negative you need to go to the west. Next, for the third coordinate, in case is a positive number, you have to lead to the north, otherwise if is negative, to the south. To finish the second coordinate is the depth, so is how many meters you have to go deep. Considering that the map is 4 km squared, to make it easier to navigate it, you can set up a navigation grid. These extra map locators will avoid you to get each time to the center of the map, but instead to the closest point of interest. To do so, place other three beacons each 500 meters to the north, three each 500 meters to the sud, three each 500 meters to the west, and three beacons each 500 meters to the east. This will allow you to orientate much better using coordinates in the map with only 13 backups. This concept is the same way people orientate in the past without GPS technology and is easy to apply when you understand it and it always works well. Now that the concept is clear, you need the two blueprints to craft respectively the compass and the beacon. 
The compass is easy to find because you will receive its location signal thanks to the radio in your life pod. But first, you need to repair it. To do so, you need to craft a repair tool that require a silicon rubber, one cave sulfur and one titanium. For the titanium is enough to go inside some caves and find the limestone outcrop that you can break, inside which you will find the titanium or a copper ore. Also for the cave sulfur you need to find the cave around the initial zone, inside which you will start to hear sometimes a fish that make a strange noise and it will start to follow you. After some seconds it will explode. Now get back in the cave and find the burrow from where this fish come out. That seems an open flower, inside which you will see some yellow small balls. This is the cave sulfur. To finish, for the silicon rubber you have to get on the margin of the initial zone, where growing some green long algae. On some of them there are some glowing yellow seeds that you have to collect to be able to craft the silicon. Once you collected everything, get back to your base and craft the repair laser. Next, you need to repair the radio and interact with it in order to get the first message. Now think about crafting the other tools while waiting for the second radio message. When you get it, will appear the radio icon in the top right corner. Now get back to the life pod and interact with the radio again. After you listen to the message, will appear the signal that will lead you to the life pod number 3 that has the blueprint to craft the compass. For which you will need two copper ore to craft the copper wire and two silver ore to craft a wiring kit. For the copper, use the same method used for the titanium. While for the silver, get near the algae you collected before and search around them on the rocky terrain for some sunstone outcrop that drops silver, gold and lead. Easier you will find them inside the caves you can access from the algae forest. Once you get all components, craft your compass that will be automatically equipped, showing you the direction below the depth number. Now it's time to find also the beacon's blueprint. For this one, you will need also to craft the scanner tool that you can craft using one copper ore and two acid mushrooms to make a battery that combined with a titanium will allow you to make the scanner tool. Next, you need to find the small wrecks around the safe shallows territory that is where you spawn. This territory is the only location where you will see the acid mushrooms around the initial zone. In this territory there are six wrecks to explore that holds different blueprints. The exact coordinates is displayed right now. You may say, how I will find out the location if I didn't set up still the beacon? Ok, you're right in this. This is why you have to find out the zero point before you have already the beacon. To do so, search around safe shallows, some coral tubes that rises upside the sea level. In order to find it easier, sometimes look outside the water. Until you will see that one coral tube get outside the water. This is the first location you need to reach. Next, get inside the end of this coral tube. Then, go to the left side, where you will see a small underwater hill that get close to the sea level as well. When you get upside, you will see between two cliffs a huge plain terrain, on top of which there is some grass. This green are some algae bushes, three of which are bigger and rounded. The one that is far from other two is the zero point. From here you can get to the wreck easier by using its coordinates. 
the easier to find from here is the one that is 280 meters to the north that in my case has only one beacon fragment while the rest are sea glide, craft trap, trash can and vending machine blueprints. Consider that these fragments will change each game, so you may find both beacon fragments here, otherwise you have to search for other wrecks. Anyway, once you get the beacon, don't forget to set it up to the zero location and use the method I mentioned before. Then search the other wrecks you still missed. In the second wreck in this territory, I found the graph trap, a beacon, container and siglite blueprints. In the third wreck, one siglite and one beacon fragment. In the fourth, the graph trap blueprint and the one siglite fragment. In the fifth wreck, a coffee machine a blueprint and one siglite fragment. In the last one, in this zone, I found the siglite, graph trap and trash can blueprints. I highly recommend to search all these six wrecks to get in particular the siglite and the beacon technology. For more wrecks and blueprints, check the specific technology in the channel's crafting playlist.